He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, He shall be permanent, permanent. Oh, permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, He shall be permanent. We bless your name, Lord. You are a mighty God. We are living because of your grace and your protection, Lord. Thank you for the life that you are giving to us. We love to hear your voice because your voice is everything that we need. Speak to us, Lord, right now. Open our understanding and give us wisdom through this word and give us strength to obey this word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Is your brother Theory. Thank you for tuning on and thank you for watching us. We are going to talk about our main theme that we began. Majority and minority. Today we are going to talk about the cost of obedience. The main theme is majority and minority. Let me read our uh, chapter that we know. Genesis chapter 6, verse 1 to 22. But because of time, we are going to read verse 14. Let me read in the name of Jesus Christ. Genesis chapter 6, verse 14. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with a pitch. God decided to destroy the world in the time of Noah because the world was corrupted. And God asked Noah to build the ark. But God told Noah, don't use any wood. Only use gopher wood. I say myself, why only gopher wood? Gopher wood was the only wood that can resist against the flood of water. Gopher wood was the only wood that can resist against the judgment of God because the flood of water was a judgment for that evil generation. The flood of water that killed the evil generation except Noah because he was in the ark. The flood of water was a judgment. And the gopher wood is the only wood that can resist against the flood of water. So if Noah took another wood and built the ark, it could be a dead man, just like the other people. The cost of obedience. And don't think like it was easy to find a gopher wood. Maybe it was not easy to find a gopher wood. Maybe Noah had to travel long distance to find a gopher wood in order to build the ark. If you go in the book of Genesis chapter 22, from verse 1 to the end, you will see the same thing 
happened to Abraham. When God asked Abraham to offer him an offering, Abraham had to travel a long distance to find the place that God asked him to, for, to offer him an offering. The Bible says three days he had to travel to find that place to offer God an offering. The cost of obedience. Maybe Noah had to travel a long distance to find a gopher wood. That was the only wood that God said to him to build the ark. The cost of obedience. That's why anything God is asking you to do, please do it. Obey and do it. Because when God asked Noah to build the ark, he was not for the protection of God. No, it was for the protection of Noah himself. So anything God is asking you to do is for your own good. Please obey the voice of God and do it. It doesn't matter what it takes. Please obey the voice of God and do it. It is for your good. Obey the voice of God and do it. And know that a lot of time, the devil will not allow you to obey the voice of God. The devil will try to discourage you to obey the voice of God. And you will not see the devil, but he will use people. Like in the time of Noah, the devil was using the corrupted generation of Noah to tell Noah the things you lost your mind. What tells you or who told you that God will destroy this generation? What are you talking about? We think you lost your mind. They call Noah names. But no one knew that anything you are saying about me, anything you are saying against me, because you did not hear the voice of God. But I know I heard the voice of God. Call me anything you want. But I know I'm not what you are trying to call me because I heard the voice of God. Don't let the devil discourage you to obey the voice of God. They will call you name. He's a scary man. She's a scary lady. They will call you name. He's a pride man. They will call you name. Uh, he's bad. They will call you name. That is the way the devil is trying to distract you. To discourage you to obey the voice of God. Don't follow that. You know what you heard from God. Let me call you Noah. Noah, you know what you heard from God. Don't let the people discourage you. Don't let the devil discourage you. Obey the voice of God. Don't use any other word. Look for Gopher word. Because that's the word that God told you to build the ark. Listen. God was everywhere. But life was not everywhere. Life was only in the ark. So everyone that was out of ark, outside of ark, all of them died, except the people that were inside of ark. Build the ark. Obey the voice of God. It doesn't matter how much it costs. Obey the voice of God. And when you are trying to obey the voice of God, as Noah obeyed the voice of God, when God killed the corrupted generation, God saved Noah 
and God began a new generation with Noah. God will start a new generation in your family. God will stop a corrupted generation and begin a new generation with you who is fearing God, you who is obeying God. God will stop generation of curse, of sickness, and begin a new generation of healings, of a freedom, a new generation of joy, a new generation of peace, a new generation of protection with you because of obedience. Try to obey God. Don't let anyone stop you to obey God. Let them call your name, but you continue to obey God. May God bless you. And you know, you will not obey God if you don't know how to obey. I am going to encourage you, read the word of God. Because the word of God will tell you what to obey. Noah obeyed because he heard. And when you study or you read the word of God, you are listening to the voice of God. God bless you. It was just a word of encouragement. Don't let people to discourage you to obey God. Continue to obey God. And you will enjoy everlasting life. Lord, I bless your name. Thank you for this word of encouragement. Help us to obey this word, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Please share the video. And if you never receive Christ in your life, don't forget, follow me through this prayer to receive Jesus to come into your life as Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner, but I need you. I thank you because you died on the cross for my sin. Come into my life, be my Savior and my Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you on the next video.